Hi guys, and here and welcome back to Minecraft for my Let's Play Survival series. I'm here out in the ocean and there's one, two, and there's our third circle and they've all had the walls in place. Let me explain what is going on here. So, let me take to the sky. Circle one over here and circle two over there. They're the two ocean monuments. They are all set up now. They've all got their walls in place. You miss me with your beam. Ha ha ha. But yeah, they're all in place, one in place. This one has also got can i get down here quickly and we're here here in a minute dodge the beam dodge the beam dodging the beam i've also put floor in all the way around y40 and that acts as a floor and that'll be the, the base level for this farm and it will also be the base level for oh it's nice i thought i thought it slept I thought i slept before i came on i'll do it in a minute I need to do the same on that floor. That one hasn't got a floor in yet. We'll do that shortly. And this one here has got a floor. And this one, can I get down here eventually? Yep. Floor in here. Well, obviously, this one has got no guardians at all. Just a dolphin. Um, but this is going to be the main central location between that farm and that farm. And this is where... Once these have been cleaned out and the farm has been placed, the gardens will come over from both sides into here and then we'll have the killing zones over here. And this will be the main central hub of the whole operation. And it's also here. I want to set up another fortress. I've got no torches down there at all either. So mobs will be spawning shortly. Tell you what, let me just go and sleep. So yeah, this will be the main central area. And this is where everything's going to be focused on first. I want to get this area cleaned out first and then once this is done i'll start on those but once this has all been cleared out i can get a portal set up there get connected up to the rest of the um areas via the nether i will be getting a train station out here as well under the ocean i'm actually thinking of making the train line go along the ocean floor have a set level along the ocean floor which comes straight into here and these will also connect into each farm so if you come around here I decided not to connect these circles up, but I'll have a tunnel sort of going across into there and likewise on the other side. So you can just go on the floor between the lots. So that's the plan there. So I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab a load of sand. And what I want to do now is just basically start placing blocks in here. Uh, we'll start down this centre bit here, I think. And then we'll go across like that. But whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to cut away in a minute anyway, maybe do a little time lapse. But a quick explanation about what's going to be going on with videos in the coming months. Uh, probably up to somewhere between October and December. So, December last year, we took on a guide dog puppy. Uh, last December, we got a seven-week-old puppy called Brody. And he, we've had him since then. He's now eight, just over eight months old. Um, he will go on to his uh, next stage training between 12 and 14 months, so somewhere between October and December. Um, and that's had an impact uh, on me recording because normally I would record Saturday, Sunday mornings. I normally get up early and then while everyone's in bed, I would record peacefully and it would all be good. However, now we have the dog in the house. I'm more with him in the morning. So I'm not recording, so that's kind of took away a lot of my recording time. Uh, he's now hit a stage where he sleeps in a crate, or he did sleep in a crate. Um, one of the things he needs to do before he goes on to his next stage of training is to spend at least three months sleeping out of the crate. So we've now got um, a safety gate on the big, fam big family room, and he's sleeping out of the crate now. However... When I get up in the mornings, if he is awake, I can't recall because he hears me because my, my computer's in the small lounge just across the corridor the whole way from him. So, and his door isn't shut because of the safety gate, so he hears me talking. And that's reduced my recording time even more. So, um, I am going to be really restricted about how much recording I'm going to, to get done in the next few months. Obviously, we want to focus on making sure he gets to his, his next stage training as prepared as possible. It's been a fun and enjoyable challenge to take on doing this. Um, and if anyone has got the time, I would definitely recommend 
doing it. Uh, it is very rewarding seeing them develop and you get a lot of support from the guy people doing it. Oops. So the plan is for me now I'm going to I'm gonna aim for one at least one video a week of the let's play. Obsidian order I will return at some point. Uh if time allows I will get back to doing that as well. I want to keep the single player world ticking along. I may try and get some tutorials done. There's a few I want to do. My plan was to get 120 tutorials all done. It just never happened. I just realised I've still got this bar appearing. If I go to full screen mode, I get rid of it. So I keep noticing. I keep forgetting to put that on. Um, so yeah, it is being restrictive, but I said I don't regret doing what we've done. It's been really nice having him in the house. So, yeah, like I say, at least one episode a week on the single player world. I will try and get other stuff out as and when I can. I say I want to get back into tours, um, but they may have to wait. So that's that. So at least you know why content's been a little bit slower. Especially over the last few weeks when he started sleeping out of his crate now. I'd say now for the next few months, uh, we'll be focused on getting him ready for moving on. So in the meantime, I'm going to get all this sand in place so I can then get this all squared off into sort of five by five spaces and then we get the sponges in and we'll try and get this drained out so i think we'll uh, have a bit of a time lapse and we'll see how far we can get with this We're back one corner of the or one quarter should say of this central area has been all split out i've gone this closing on side this side of the center that one's on the other side just so it means i can go down underneath here and clear these out so let's go down this way Place some sponges down like so. Down to the bottom. There we go. And uh, that's it. That's all we need to do. Fly back out. And rinse and repeat, and that is basically it now. I suppose we can remember to take them down as what go down as well. It'd be easy, I can clear them back quicker. I can keep it getting these put into the um furnaces as well.
we'll just do this last one here which should be again very straightforward there we go and then torch underneath these sand columns I got my sand back and life is all good and that is the first section of our new ocean base empty so I'm going to continue on now if by the end of this episode I've got this one done got a bit of chest set up down below and we've got a portal linked up I think that's a good place to get for this episode we might go off and do something else to finish the episode off but that's the aim for this so I shall crack on and I'll hopefully see you with one empty base going forward well I've run out of sand and I've got let's go take it to the air so I've got a little bit drained out but I've got now the rest of the three quarters of it well over three quarters of it now filled in with sand ready to be drained and I must admit this is a satisfying part placing sand is a little bit but it's looking nice space down there I'm having to light it up I know in the ocean monuments, if you go below the ocean level, you don't get a mob spawning. Here you do. Actually, I think it's more within the bounding box of the ocean monument, you don't get mob spawning. If you go underneath it, you will. But in, in sort of the bounding area of the monument, monument you don't. Uh, but here, I am now free to start clearing these out. And the sponges cook. I'll clear the sand out. I'll keep working my way around and then we'll fill in the last bit and then this will be done. Uh, I'm now going to sponge it out and we're now going to go and start clearing these out. Uh, so I'll see you in a minute. I think I'll let her sleep first. And here we go, we're halfway there now, halfway all cleared out, torches down there, stop the spawns, and half left to go. I've now got enough sand now, I can get the grid pattern set up uh, this final quarter, and then I'll hit it with the sponges, and then once that's done, we've got one empty area. We can get a portal set up, we can get connected with the nether back to the mainland over at our main base, and that'll be good. And then we'll start work on one of these farms. Not today, but in a future episode. Do one at a time and get one farm. 
or want monument cleared out, stripped out for a farm. Once one's working, we'll do the next one. Right now, I'm just going to cut away here now while I finish this off. No offense, you've seen everything from putting the sand down to clearing the water to removing the sand. So it's pretty much repeat of everything we have done so far. So I'll crack on, get that done, and I will be with you in a second. Here we go, one completed clear and empty space. You can fly up, look down. Nice big space for us to then plan the collection of the guardians and the storage and all that sort of stuff. Plenty of room here and that's to do at a later date, but it's a good step forward. Finally, what I want to do, I've got a portal there, I've got the coordinates. I want to head back to my starter look base, starter base, the um, central hub at the train station, grab some cobble and then pull it out to that location and then we can sort of build another portal there and hopefully connect them up. So let's see if we can get that done. Am I going in the right direction? I am. Hopefully. And now, fingers crossed, this will match up. It does, go back. But now with one hole dug out into the ground, um, these are ready next to drain. I will probably do this one. It's got a floor in place. I think in the meantime, I will, in between episodes when I get a chance to play but not record, come in and clear out all of the kelp and the seagrass off the monument and get that ready. And then I can start layering in the columns of sand to start getting this one all cleared and drained and then we we'll just get the monument out of the way but a good episode a lot done today not in terms of in terms of like building but we've got a lot done in terms of we've cleared a massive hole in the ground <laughs> so and we've now connected up this base with our others through the nether so good progress is being made. And I think I'm going to crack on and try and get these garden farms done sooner rather than later. Keep coming back maybe every other episode and make a bit more progress and do something in the meantime as we go along. But on that note, I'm going to wrap this episode up. up. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like because it's subscribing if you are new with the button as well as future content. Again, I apologize for the change in schedules over the next few months, but we need to make sure our guide puppy is ready to move on as and when he gets the opportunity to. So we'll get him sorted before I can return back to a more normal schedule. But until then, I shall see you in the next episode. Bye bye.